Welcome everyone to the 12th edition of TTF and I'm very excited today to Hello. be moderating this session with Ren Yong. This is the first time I'm sitting on a bench on a stage, so thank you Bill for putting this here. It's very different, very different experience. Exactly, and it's going to be very casual and informal, but we've had many sessions where we've spoke about um, innovation, we've talked a lot about reinvention and also change in the hospitality um, landscape. And particularly, um, so Ren Yong oversees all the brands within um, Banyan Tree, so from the spa to FMB and guest experiences and accommodation as well. So it's really interesting to learn about where Banyan Tree's um, future landscape is moving to in terms of reinventing and introducing new products and services. Particularly, Banyan Tree is the um, pioneers of the pool villa, originated from Phuket. And um, yeah, it will be interesting where you'll be seeing the direction of the consumer going and creating that ultimate um, guest experience with your products. Well, I think innovation is um, a very sexy concept, but it really comes with a lot of unsexy constraints and patience. So the story behind the first uh, pool villa that I was sharing with you previously was, you know, we took seven years to re rehabilitate a land in Phuket that was tin mine. And the last piece of land that we had um, had no beach. And with no beachfront access, the pool villa was born. And a lot of that was around designing for what a customer would want and how to bring nature in. Now, 30 years later, one of the next uh, products that we've done is a villa with no walls and no doors. Kind of the same concept in the sense that it's about bringing nature in. So innovation, I mean, there's so much happening in our field. Um, there's innovation for efficiency and there's innovation for product design and experience. I think what's really important for every company, every company needs to disrupt itself, but at the same time, you need to lean on what your own core drivers are and your core competencies. And for us, that's creating experiences and design that um, lead someone to reframe their perspective on life um, and be able to come back to their own lives with something new. That's the power of hospitality. Thank you. You also mentioned core um, values. And and what I've noticed with Banyan Tree is you integrate a lot of the um, sustainability and environmental um, uh, concerns into integrated into your products and services as well as guest experiences. Um, for instance, uh, turning the tin mine um, into now a world-renowned uh, destination, hospitality destination. Um, and I like that how it's embedded in the DNA of Banyan Tree and that continues in the uh, product development as well. So uh, being in nature, so no walls and no, no doors, um, that also um, brings a very different experience. And we also talked about how you know, certain products may not be for everybody and uh, you can't please everyone. So how do you determine um, which is the next, I guess, uh, product that would suit um, the guests? Well, I mean, there's also a reason why in the last five years we now have a stable of 10 brands in the sense that we've taken a position that different brands uh, cater to different guest needs and, you know, one guest might travel to three or four brands at the same time. Um, no walls, no doors is definitely not for everyone. Um, but one thing that we believe in and hope for is that this trend towards uh, sustainable travel is not just a trend. It's a mega trend that will last. And more importantly, that it will drive a price premium. I think for the last 10 years, we'd say sustainability was, you know, a bonus. It didn't really drive a rate premium or loyalty. Uh, now, I think we're starting to see that. In terms of what people care about, uh, it ranges. Some people care about sustainability in the area of food, where their food comes from and so on. Some people care about no plastic. Some people care about you know, how much of their tourist dollar is going back to the local economy. I think different brands can express that in different ways, and we're seeing that happen. Another really interesting area, um, I think that being a resort-based company, we are essentially a nature-based company. People come to our properties to enjoy the nature around us. It's the nature of resorts. And one of the things that we're looking at is not just the resort in terms of the built environment and its landscape, 
but the green area of that landscape as an opportunity to increase biodiversity um, and other aspects. So for example, Laguna, it's over 500 hectares of land in Phuket, used to be a tin mine, and now this next evolution I'm excited about is about creating microforests, biodiversity corridors through that. We're looking at things like soil bacteria and um, migratory bird species. And I think that's not just because of our passion for sustainability. It's also because we have 1,500 people living there. We sell branded residences. This is going to be a huge driver for people's preferences in moving forward. Right. We also spoke a lot about travel with a purpose. And um, I know with the new well-being uh, brand that has just been created under Banyan Tree, Veya also um, reflects a lot of that in the guest experiences as well. And um, yeah, and I think a lot of people are also traveling for that purpose, like, you know, going to not just well being, but um, yeah, just health and uh, food wise. I so said, you integrate that also in your FMB. Uh, I also mentioned about the farm to table um, concept, which is really interesting. Um, so that that's. Um, uh, from from the uh, innovation as well. So in terms of design, um, for so where would you start from? Like in so the Indonesian project has now um, taken off, and uh, where would you see the 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 expansion of that project? So I mentioned before, innovation comes from constraints. So actually, in COVID, I think the industry, I mean, I'm totally with Bill, the industry, our, our industry has so much opportunity to innovate because of all the constraints. Um, in terms of product design, um, the, co the biggest constraints I think that we have or that we should acknowledge are twofold. One is on the people front in terms of attracting talent to the industry and that's about designing a different career, designing different jobs for people in hospitality so that they feel like they have, um, they can create a portfolio career for themselves and we attract young people into the industry. Um, so that's one aspect of culture and design that I think uh, is key. For example, in uh, the property in Bali, we hire people for personal interests. Of course, there's a level of skills and expertise, but we ask them, what is your personal passion that you want to bring into the guest experience? And we multi-skill them across different areas in the hotel. So that's very interesting to them because they can develop a portfolio of experience that they can bring with them elsewhere. Um, the other aspect of design and the constraint that um, I think we all should acknowledge is environmental, yeah. environmental constraints, you know. Food waste is huge. Water, in terms of all our pools, is also a huge aspect. Emissions, there's no question. So how can we use our creativity to uh, create design solutions that not only mitigate the issues that we have, um, but also enhance it for the guest? So things like our next project for Escape is on an island, um, on a private island, and so it's looking at a completely off-grid, carbon-neutral build. Oh. Um, there's a lot of different exciting uh, possibilities. Wow, it's it's really really um, nice to hear because the integration is is um, m massive. I think you know for for guest experience. Um, so how do you um, embed culture then in local places because look. Um, Banyan Tree is worldwide, you have it in uh, many different countries. How do you then integrate that um, to the culture and do you cross culture as well? Do you move them around from a um, people perspective, like talent, to retain them? Absolutely. I mean, I want to call out our general manager of Banyan Tree Bangkok, Kung Kai, who's here, who just came back from El Ula, a property in Saudi Arabia that we opened uh, last year. It's a tented camp. I think we had about 80 of our associates from all over the world go there to help set that up. So we are a small company by the mega company standards and our culture is very much a human person to person transmission. So it's with people like uh, Kung Kai who's been with us for over 20 years and other stalwarts in our um, uh, company that go to the different pre-openings and bring that culture alive. Right. Um, I have. Um, a, qu a question that I like to ask about post-pandemic. So do you see a trend in um, guests wanting different um, things from what was traditionally that they're after? Do you see a different uh, shift in mindset or um, 
yeah, what, what they desire and what is Biontree doing to um, cater to that? It's different across the brands. So, but for the Banyan Tree brand, uh, it's definitely a longer stay, a longer uh, period of stay for sure. And I definitely think there is the, that mega trend of uh, looking for wellness and wellness beyond um, your typical um, disciplined retreats, more around a curiosity of what it means to live well and wanting the flexibility of that. So in our uh, wellness portfolio, we have eight pillars, and the more untraditional uh, aspects of those are connection and bonding, learning and development, and connection with nature, um, alongside sleep, rest, physical vitality, and so on. And we're finding that a lot of people are coming to our practitioners and sessions with problems around connecting to their own family members or connecting to with each other um, or even their own direction in life that's coming out in the consultations. It's almost like the therapy room and the wellness uh, space is merging, which is really interesting. Uh, we've even had questions of um, people asking us, do you run couples therapy sessions or kind of retreats? So I think that could be a very interesting emerging new area for wellness. So do you see that more post-COVID? Yes, like, yes um, That definitely. change. I mean, we've all seen like families break up, divorce rates are high, depression is high, anxiety is high. So uh, definitely an increase in that aspect of request. Yeah. There's definitely opportunities there to, um, yeah, to fill that gap um, yes. in terms of opportunities. Cool. So in terms of, um, so I'm also very interested to find out like product development. So what drives innovation for Banyan Tree? So what um, gives you, the, the brand, the innovation to develop uh, new ideas? Well, I think one strong area now that's happening is um, the environmental aspect. That is a huge constraint for which we are innovating for, and that will cover waste, water, energy, and so on. That's that taking up a lot of our bandwidth. Um, the second is around interaction with nature. So I think, um, you know, I spoke before about landscape and built environment. There is not very much architectural interior design that explores the barrier between that. Um, and how you can um, reshape an experience of nature through that. So that's an area we are um, definitely doing more of. Okay, one last question. Disruption. If you have no limitations, no challenges, what would you do to change the hospitality landscape? Wow, big, big, huge one. Um, I think disruption, what calls to mind immediately is the digital aspect. Uh, distribution, but I wouldn't go there because I think the soul of hospitality is not around um, room nights, even though that's incredibly important. I would immediately change our revenue metric to be customer lifetime value as opposed to room nights rev par. I, I believe very strongly in the idea that um, a hotel business is about serving a customer through their lifetime. And I think that will really be interesting for considering the revenue streams of a hotel. So first one would be customer lifetime value for the hotel industry instead of RevPA and RGI. Oh, nice, thank you. Um, second one is I would abolish all departments in the hotel, like no more housekeeping, engineering, um, wow, you know, that FMB is disruption. And, so and then build it ground up in a different way. I mean, I'm not gonna take that job, but... <laughs> Just to, just to break the regimented um, departments and how that uh, is structured. I would do that. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much again today. Thank you. And it's been an honor Thank you so moderating. Much. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>